was 12 when I discovered robotics. In class 6, the teacher distributed flyers for an EPFL, Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, robotics education. I was interested, so I registered and followed it. I learned to make robots with Lego and to program it. At the beginning, it was only a very simple robot, with two wheels and one support to not fall. It's a good way to learn because it's like playing a game and it's fun. We started to learn how to move it, so to turn left, turn right, to stop and say hello. Then we learned how to use some sensors and to calculate with suitable blocks that we defined on the computer program. For example, there's a light sensor to follow a dark line on the ground or a touch sensor to know when it's up to a wall and it must stop. There's an ultrasonic sensor too to see an obstacle and to know exactly where it is on the game table. First it was easy, then it got more and more complicated. I wanted to continue because I liked it and I wanted to exercise it to learn more with the practice. I heard about the FLL challenge in Lausanne, a competition with these robots. With six other people we made a team for this competition and registered. We prepared ourselves for a few months and worked together on the robot to program them. Here is the first robot. He, we can see here the a light sensor and here a touch sensor. Um, here is the second robot. We can say, see here the touch sensor and here the light sensor. Um, here it is the second robot too with a very big tool. He's ready to start a mission. <laughs> and here's the robot that we actually use, he's doing a mission. In this contest, the robots must score the most points possible in two and a half minutes. First, we did a very simple robot with a very, very simple program. But it was efficient. It was a robot with three motors, one sensor, and he turned left, turned right, did a few movements, and we were happy. We went to Lausanne and at the Swiss final too. The team was born and we continued to get together every week and to train for the next competition. The teamwork was very important. That's why we could make a better robot with more and more developed programs. Each year we participated in these contests and we always got good results. We sometimes won, we sometimes lost. But the most important thing was the teamwork. We always had fun with or without winning. The beauty of robotics is maybe not just in the robots, but in the teamwork too. For a good robot, we need more than just one person who's working behind all the construction and the programming. There's always a team who works together, shares the ideas, and all together they make a functional robot. With the Team Jura, our team, we saw at the beginning that it isn't so easy to program a mission. First, we must imagine we can do what we can do. Then we must talk together with the team and try to realize it. We need more than just one hour for a mission. And on one game, we've got about 10 missions. So we take the robot, we try to move it with our hands set to imagine a tool, a tool in the program. Maybe that's what is most difficult. What is most fun is when we work and we play, and we create something new, all together with the team. Thank you.